mga kapatid kong Pilipino, ang una siguro ang sasabihin ko is I would like to thank the government, the nation of Laos, for hosting you here, uh, giving you the chance for a livelihood, and protecting you. Salamat ho sa gobyerno ng Laos, ng Laosians. Uh, we appreciate deeply uh, yung ginawa ninyong space para sa mga kababayan ko. Uh, nandito po ang kasama ko si ang ating Secretary of Foreign Affairs, si Perfecto Yasai. June, can you... And... Of course, uh, the others are left behind kasi sa protocol, mauna talaga kami. I was only with my aide, Bongo. Siya yung kasama ko sa sakyan. Ito yung matawagan ninyo anytime. Ito ba yung baka, well, problema sa ating uh, ninyo dito. At gusto ninyong umabot sa aking opisina. Now, uh, despite of the bombings in Davao, I had to go here. One is to show that they cannot uh, ask us on bended knees na ipopospon ko lang dahil sa kanila. Because in the end, in the fullness of God's time, meron talagang reckoning yan. At meron yung pagbabago. I'm just about two months plus three. Just give me time and I'll fix the country. As I have promised you, there will be a clean government and it will be clean. And... Uh, whether in or out of the country, I assure you, pag-uwi ninyo, iba na ang sistema doon. And I would like to assure you that as a returning Filipino citizen, you will be accorded with the respect and dignity of a Filipino worker. Yan ang unang mawala ho. Talagang ewan ko lang yung hindi naniniwala. But marami na akong pinaresign dyan sa LTO, pati LTFRB. And uh, uh, there will be a continuing purge, lineage talaga. I'm just taking my time so that they can prepare at sabihin ko, I'll give you two months, maybe you save your salary because you are out of government. Talagang tutuhanin ko yan. At makita naman ho ninyo, yung mga tao na kinausap ko, those guys, all Filipinos, all good men, to join my government. Kayong tagadabaw, you know, Junior Sai. He's from the Bao. He's very good. He's a professor of law sa mga university sa America. He has migrated there many years ago because during martial law days, he was also wanted. Uh, mukhang may pagka-aktivista. And we, were, we shared the same room, student days namin. I was taking law sa San Beda at siya naman sa UP, sa Padre Faura. So, kinuha ko siya kasi bright. Talagang bright as bright. Then you have the, uh, he's not here, he's the caretaker, si Bijal Dia. He's the executive secretary. Uh, marami pa ang dadating. Uh, I brought along with me si, ano, uh, this uh, defense secretary. He used to be assigned there in Mindanao many years ago when I was mayor. And uh, he brought the second ranger battalion with him in his assignments. Nagkaibigan ho kami. He's a military man. 
he is good, he is honest, and he will serve the country well. Uh, nandito po si uh, Ramos. Uh, uh, ang ating ano, uh, nakatulog ako sa flight. Secretary Lopez sa uh, uh, DTI. He takes care of itong mga medium and uh, small industries. Ito yung mga ano ng gogo negosyo noon, gunabutan ninyo. Sila ni Joy Concepcion, sila yon. So, kinuha ako sila. Nandito po sa atin si uh, Secretary Andanar ng ating uh, media. He used to be working with GMA. Lumipat po siya sa akin. Nandito na ba lahat? And uh, I cannot... Uh, Sunny Dominguez. Uh, kababata ko, taga-Davao rin. He was the Secretary of uh, Agriculture sa panahon ni Cory Aquino. He was once upon a time the President of PAL, uh, Philippine Airlines. Uh, I'm not good, hindi pa si bang yung opera ko, hindi na masyado maganda. I'm old. Uh, si Secretary Esperon, he was served as the National Security Advisor. And, uh, sino pa ba? Ang, medyo si, uh, of course, uh, si sec, Undersecretary uh, sa local government, si General Coy. He was also assigned in Davao once upon a time. And, uh, ang di is uh, si Judy Tagiwalo. Ayan. Takot ang mga congressman yan kasi pag-awa yan. They belong to the left. Yung parang ating perception sa politika. Left and right. Mga leftist to sila. Kagaya ko noon, once upon a time. Uh, itong gobyerno ko po, niyaya ko lahat. And they tawag nila the Communist Party of the Philippines, but they are not actually member. They were just in the in the socialist dimension nila. So hello, hello, na kami yun. I'm talking with the uh, in DF, in PA, CCP, CPP, uh, at saka ang Moro National Liberation Front at yung uh, Moro uh, MILF. Oh. Ay si Aysa Sigera sa National Youth Commission. Aysa, where are you? Ay, nakita ko dito kanina. I'm sorry, I, can, I do not, uh, cannot memorize you anymore. Excited din kasi ako. Eh. But anyway, nandito yung mga cabinet members who would make the difference uh, uh, sa ating trabaho ngayon. We are here to work with the ASEAN and next year, Tayo na ho ang mag-host. So sila na ang pumunta doon. Then again, I said I would like for the second time, pasalamat ako sa Laos for taking care of the Filipinos here and protecting them. Uh, it is with uh, gratitude that I bow to you being an Asian also. Ngayon, Yung pumutok sa Dabao was in retaliation of the almost talagang all out. Alam mo kasi kung hindi ko gawin yan, we are being slapped every day, almost. Mag-hostage sila ng mga turista or kidnap people, then asking for money. At pag hindi nakaibigay o nakabigay na at ipasa nila doon sa ibang grupo, dadagdagan, ipinapatay nila sa harap ng mundo. As a country, a sovereign state, I cannot simply allow that. And itong bombing has been going on ever since. Kayong mga tagadabo, if you would care to remember, we had this problem with them early in the 70s 
and they bombed the Catholic Church, the cathedral, twice during Mayor Santos's time and mine, 1989. Then, the airport, Simbahan, terminal, uh, those were retaliations, but, but those are also the sacrifice that we have to bear. Alam mo, I'm asking you, I am very sad, I, I share the grief for those who died, but mga collateral na lang yun, gante. But that will not stop us, because I cannot go to them and say, please stop, and I am on a bended knee, nakaluhod ako. I carry the burden of a country is sovereign state. And at all costs, I must uphold the dignity and the integrity of our country. Bigyan lang ninyo ako kunting panahon. I'm just maybe two months, three months. Meron na ako nga akong alitan dyan sa mga human rights. And of course... Uh, Alam mo, hindi na naintindihan ang problema. I was the favorite weeping boy ng human rights. An alam ninyo yan. Uh, nung mayor ako, eh, talagang napakaguluho ng bayan, ng siyudad ko. Pero takadabaw, alam ninyo yan. So I was at the crossroads of deciding whether I will preside over the affairs of the city that is peaceful, umamili ako magulo. So I gave everybody the chance. I talked to the left and PA and the left Davao. But I also, kinausap ko yung mga kriminal, pati drugista, pati lahat na sinabi ko, umalis kayo sa Davao kasi papatayin ko kayo pag nandito kayo. Ngayon, yung umalis, buhay. Nasa Maynila na, sa Cebu, doon sila sa Ginakaw. Ang Davao is really peaceful, except for a terroristic activity once in a while. You can go about, pauwi kayo ngayon, and nobody, walang mga kriminal, walang mga hold upper, uh, drug pusher, medyo halos ubos na. Uh, kunting panahon pa lang para ubusin ko talaga lahat. But let me state my case. They will pay. Magbayad sila. Ilang buhay pinatay nila, Kinze? Well, give me time. Pagdating ng panahon, talagang pulpugin ko kayong lahat. Uh, you watch me. Total nakita ninyo ako how I operate. I am not bragging, but I have a style of running a governance for after all, I've been 23 years mayor of Dabao City. I was once a congressman and the vice mayor of my daughter. Yung nanuntok, nakita ninyo sa ano yan? Yun ang mayor ngayon. So, banta rin sila dyan. Uh, she has a very short fuse. Dali, Ramo. I don't know. Uh, maldita na. Uh, tula ring patawa dyan. So, ganon. Uh, but, uh, on the other side, except for this uh, rebellion going on, if I will succeed with my talks with the Communist Party of the Philippines, if I am successful by the grace of God with the MI and the MN, and I'll, I promise you, I will crush that rebellion. Puputulin ko lahat ang puno dyan to the last. Sila rin nag-umpisa. I'm not bragging. And let it be known to them. Naagaganti rin ako. Hindi ako pwede magpautang ng ganon. Kung ano yung ginagawa mo sa iyong kapak kap kapak mo tao, gagawin ko sa iyo yan. Yan ay hindi naintindihan ng ibang bansa na may human rights. Puro daldal ng daldal. 
Ayaw ko lang pangalanan ng but you know what country it is. It's ripe with hypocrites. At, eh ako, ginawa mo, magbayad ka. Hindi yan pwede yung utang-utang na madala lang tayo ng human rights. Ayaw ang utang. Not that. Magbayad ka because dalawang prinsipyo yan sa criminal law. Yan. The positivist theory which says that you can rehabilitate a criminal. I dare you to say the contrary. These guys are beyond redemption. Wala na ISIS. Kita mo doon sa Middle East. And they even burned 20 young girls for refusing to have sex. Ano? Pag pinaharap mo ako ng ganun, alam mo kaya kong kumain ng tao. Talagang buksan ko yung katawan mo. Bigyan mo ako sukat asin. Kakainin kita. Oh, toto. You pagalitin mo ato talagang sasagad na. Kaya kong kumain ng tao. Bigyan mo lang ako suka asin. Kakainin ko sa harap nila yan. Ah, so, sabi ko sa Bisaya walay sukod sa balos <laughs> hindi ako magpapautang sige lang, bumba lang kayo ng bumba pag nating ng pawang, kakainin ko kayo sa harap ng tao I will devour you and if I have to erase you Gusto ko sabi ko, pagkatapos, walang makatayo dyan ni isang nyog. Ni isang nyog, walang tatayo dyan. So, ganun yan. And I would uh, also ask for your understanding that we are still in the process of eradicating drugs. Marami nang namatay. Yung iba na sabi, pinatay ng police, totoo yan. Yung iba na, na salvage. Totoo yan. Pero hindi kami. Huwag magturo sa akin. So, so sabihin ko na ako, ayaw naman yung maniwala. Maniwala kayo. Sabihin ko ako nag... Eh, tabi ko, sinisira ninyo ang Pilipino. Eh. If I relent, if I stop, if I renege in these uh, commitments, I would have compromised the next generation of Filipinos. Well, uh, sira, it, sira ang ating bayan. At it will continue and continue. Uh, if I do not interdict, kung hindi ko parahin ito, ngayon, nobody can. Hindi ako nag-insulto. Magtingin ka dyan sa larawan ng politika ng Manila. Sino-sinong nandyan? Sinong pwede magpresidente? Gawin mo yan. Kaya nila kumain ng tao? Ah, oh, ako, pagalitin mo ako. Katotoo lang. I will eat you alive. Raw. Ganon ako kasi... Ewa ko siguro baka moro man ang lula ko. Maranaw. Ang tatay ko siguro ang wak-wak. Tapos <laughs> kaliwat nila ba? <laughs> so, we are good. We are trying to stop at the very top corruption. Marami ako sa BIR na paalis na, pinaresign. At yung mga Nung tumatakbo ako, eh, sinabi ko na sa mga generals, mag-resign kayo kasi involved kayo sa drag. Tell, he's still alive. So, if you have time, kibigan mo. You know, President Ramos went to Davao four times, not three times, four. Tapos yung una, wala siyang pinakita. Basta sabi lang niya, you must run because uh, mean, it's about time that Mindanao would have its own president. Yun lang ang usapan limitado doon. And you can ask him, boy pa si Ramos eh. The second time he was strongly urging me to run. Sabi niya, ikaw lang ang makapigil nito kung paano. Then he showed me a list ng mga, nandoon na, mga general. 
sa droga. Pati yung police ganun kakapal. Hindi ko pa binitawan yung iba kasi binabalidate ko pa. Sabi niya, if, do, if you do not run, sino ang patakbuhin natin? Sabi niya, ikaw sir, huwag ako kasi wala akong pera. Pati hindi ako pang big time. Small time lang ako sir. Sabi niya, no, if you keep on refusing, and this country will go to the dogs. Pinakita niya, oh, what can you know, what can you do, ab- do with this? So, pinakita, nakita niya, mga generals, ganon. Hindi man akin yun. Hindi akin, pati yung kay, kay Delilah, hindi yan akin. Hindi ako ganon, ka, matakita na ba ninyo? Well, at least, uh, performer siya. Yung iba, magtara malang, mag, magharap lang ng gano'n. Sa kanya, she's active. Well, nandiyan mo yung video. Third time, ito. Ito ah. Sabi ko kasi walang pera. Balik siya. Isang tennis bag. Sabi niya, oh. Nagsulisit ako ng pera sa mga kaibigan ko. Wala akong pera kasi retired na lang rin ako. Ayan. Nung binuksan namin yung pagkalis niya, 5 million. Pero sabi ko, kanino to sir? Basta halo-halo na yan. So hindi ko malagay nga doon sa election returns kung kanino galing. So anonymous eh. Ayaw niya sabihin. Sabi niya, hindi ko talaga pera yan. So inipit na niya ako. October 16, hindi ako nag-file. Palapit na yung substitution. Talagang inaraw-araw niya ako. So, sabi ko, yeah, sige sir, sige sir. So, tumakbo ako. Hindi ko naman akalain, wala akong partido. I mean, PDP is a little bit more bond. Yung hindi na gumagalaw. But, uh, wala akong gobernor except uh, for three provinces. Yun lang. Wala akong gobernor, wala akong barangay captain sa Luzon, ni wala akong konsihal. And yet, I won by a big majority. Six, 16 million plus, six of which is really my margin from my nearest opponent. So, hindi nila ako kilala. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng mensahe nyan? There has to be a message in the result of the election. There is something which the people would want to convey to me to do something about it. So, pagka alam ko, nung election sabi ko, taposin ko ang korupsyon, droga, pati itong kasali na yung abusayap. So, yan. Magkuha ka na. Kabarbarik ng mga Sobrang, why do you have to? Bakit? Pinapakita mo mga lalaki dito, tinatakot mo? Ay, lahat naman tayo mamatay. God, pati yan sila. Kaya ang mensahe ko sa Pilipino, huwag kayong matakot mamatay. Ang tao mamamatay talaga. When, Diyos lang ay mikaalam niyan. Wala tayong ano, we do not have that refuge. But, by what manner? Well, Kung mamili ka, kung anong gusto mong klase yung kamakas, how it is done? Uh, for what reason? Pero when? Well, tayong mga Kristyanos, I am a Christian, I, it's a religion of my father. We are only, we can only say na God has promised us eternal life. Even in our prayers, God says, he will come to judge the living and the dead. So, babalik siya sa mundo at husgaan yung buhay pati patay. Baka siguro titindig yung mga patay. Baka magtakbuhan yung titus takot. Well, anyway, that is God what says. As a Christian, yun, lumaki tayo ng ganun eh. He will come to judge the living and the dead. When is that? Only God can tell us. Pero sigup pinakasigurado, this planet will come to an end. 
Sigurado yan. Someday it's gonna be like just like a stone whirling around the solar system. Kung kailan tay mamatay. Kaya what dapat? Because kayo malakas ng loob. Would you think that you'd have the guts to go over uh, so many thousands of miles to be here to work? And you are brave. Kaya ako, saludo ako. Sa inyo, kaya ako nagbaw sa inyo kasi yung mga people who have that courage, the foresight and vision to go out of this country to seek better, greener pastures. Believe ako sa inyo. And one of that is really yung ano, ano, an uncertain, baka mamatay ka doon, madisgrasya ka. But do not be afraid of that. Take it from me. I am Pastor Duterte. <laughs> ang simula ngayon, ang ating reliyon, huwag oh, masyado yan. May pare ba dito? Ah, pare si Pangasaba. What I don't like really is, yung magtakutin ka. Na, Pagka magkanayang maliit pa tayo, magpunta tayo ng imperno, magpunta tayo ng imperno. Ano man sunugin ng imperno na... But you know, there are things which uh, the Catholic Church must change. Or else it will... Uh, by the end of this three decades from now, wala na, becomes irrelevant. Dito na lang isa bago, Iglesia ni Duterte. Maganda ito. Walang bawal. Ah. Inong, sige, inong. Oo, oh, oh, oh. babae. Ay, sige, hanggang patayin ka ng asawa mo. Madali, malang magpatayin ng asawa. Yung husband ninyo, na, yung legal. Timplahan mo lang. Lalo na yung mga bisaya. Yung maalat, parat. Is it maalat? Is that the, is that the translation? Lagyan mo ng extra two spoons bowl yung kanyang, dalawang kutsara kanyang ulam. Ibigay mo. Para two years na yung papalpak ang kidney niyan. Huwag mo nang idealis. Sabihin mo, yan na siguro swerte mo. Well, anyway, <laughs> joking aside. Let's have a, I'd like to share, uh, to, to, to break bread with you tonight. And uh, I hope that you'd make it good. That we are ready, si Yasay, and their secretary Yasay is, uh, nandito, dumating si Senator Caetano. So, yan, maho sa rin. Uh, sayang, uh, pero anyway, he will still be president. If he aspires for the presidency, I give him my support and I say it now. And I will say it now. Bote yan sila kay pagharap sila ni Obama. Pariho sila, ano, American, American, nanay niya, American naman. Uh, at least bago ang Presidente Tisoy. So, hanggang nalang dito ako, kakain na tayo. I said, uh, we are ready. Uh, I have the 8888. That's a 24-hour facility where you can uh, call. I'm sorry. Nandito pa pala nakita ko uh, si Secretary Doresa. And si Secretary Abelia, yung spokesman. Uh, si Secretary Defense ng si, si Tagadakotabato to. Uh, sino pa ba? Ang mga guwapo. Ay, si Secretary Esperon. Chief of Staff ni Panahon ni President Gloria. He was the National Security Advice. Ano, Chief of Staff. Kinuha ko sa National Security Advisor. So, medyo kompleto naman siguro tayo. Ang pinaka nasabi ko na ba lahat? Wala ba? Except for Judy... And uh, ay, ang isang mavirik, ka nga, 
Yung, when he opens his mouth, instead of putting to a close a controversy, he lets it be a big issue. Sal Panelo. Bicolano ito. So, nandito, all accounted for. Uh, itong mga ibang staff, uh, hindi ko marin nakikita. Pero may mga kasama kami, mga aid namin. Pero anyway, uh, makita pa naman ninyo sila. Uh, after this, we can have, uh, then uh, we have to go home because uh, tomorrow, maaga naman masyadong ano, Ako na ano, alas utso sus Mario Josep, sabi. <laughs> Kaya ako sa Davao, hapon mag-umpisa. Usually hapon, mga alas dos, ganon. Tapos, to, to the night. Pero yung buntag kasi, ang umaga, medyo. But uh, we have to abide by the protocol of the place. Uh, we have to respect uh, their wishes. So, ganun lang po, and I am very happy to see all of you in good health. Sana. At yung mga dalaga, maraming dalaga dito. Uh, wala? Naubusan tayo ng supply, ah. Padala pa tayo dito. May you settle there, and uh, if it it's time to get married, uh, you're good here, you're good. Laos is a very good country. It's a very docile island. Tsaka para na rin kababayan natin, because we look almost the Asian stock. It's almost the same. So to the president and the prime minister, and to all the people of Laos, Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much. Bijal Dia is the executive secretary. Uh, marami pong dadating. Uh, I brought along with me si ano uh, this uh, defense secretary. He used to be assigned there in Mindanao many years ago when I was mayor, and uh, he brought the second ranger battalion with him in his assignments. Nagkaibigan ho kami. He is a military man. He is good. He is honest. And he will serve the country well. Uh, nandito po si uh, Ramos. Uh, uh, ang ating ano? Uh, nakatulog ako sa flight. Secretary Lopez uh, uh, DTI. He takes care of itong mga medium and uh, small industries. Ito yung mga ano ng go-go negosyo noon, gunabutan ninyo. Sila ni Joy Concepcion. Sila. There will be a clean government and it will be clean. And uh, whether in or out of the country, I assure you, pag ninyo, Iba na ang sistema doon. And I would like to assure you that as a returning Filipino citizen, you will be accorded with the respect and dignity of a Filipino worker. Yan ang unang mawala ho. Talagang ewan ko lang yung hindi naniniwala but marami na akong pinaresign dyan sa LTO pati LTFRB. And uh, uh, there will be a continuing purge, lineage talaga. I'm just taking my time so that they can prepare. At sabihin ko, I'll give you two months, maybe you save your salary because only with my aid, Bongo, siya yung Kasama ko sa sakyan. Ito yung matawagan ninyo anytime. So, may baka, well, problema sa ating uh, ninyo dito. At gusto ninyong umabot sa aking opisina. Now, uh, 
despite of the bombings in Davao, I had to go here. One is to show that they cannot uh, ask us on bended knees na ipopospon ko lang dahil sa kanila. Because in the end, in the fullness of God's time, meron talagang reckoning yan. At meron niyang pagbabago. I'm just about two months plus three. Just give me time and I'll fix the country. As I have promised you, Mga kapatid kong Pilipino, ang una siguro ang sasabihin ko is I would like to thank the government, the nation of Laos for hosting you here, uh, giving you the chance for a livelihood and protecting you. Salamat ho sa gobyerno ng Laos, ng Laosians, uh, we appreciate deeply uh, yung ginawa ninyong space para sa mga kababayan ko. Uh, nandito po ang kasama ko si ang ating Secretary of Foreign Affairs, si Perfecto Yasai. Jun, can you? And of course, uh, the others are left behind kasi sa protocol, mauna talaga kami ay because you are out of government. Talagang tutuhanin ko yan. At makita naman ho ninyo, yung mga tao na kinausap ko, those guys, all Filipinos, all good men, to join my government. Kayong Tagadabaw, you know Junya Sai. He's from Davao, he's very good, he's a professor of law, sa mga university sa Amerika. He has migrated there many years ago because during Marcelo days, he was also wanted. Uh, mukhang may pagka-aktivista. And we, were, we shared the same room, student days namin. I was taking law sa San Beda at siya naman sa UP, sa Padre Faura. So, kinuha ko siya kasi bright. Talagang bright as bright. Then you have the, uh, he's not here, he's the caretaker, si...